Hey guys, I have a cracking 30 minute paneer fajita recipe for you this week. We're gonna be using shop bought paneer, a handful of veggies, including peppers and onions, and loads and loads of killer spices. The fajita seasoning is a firecracker of a spice blend. All you need to do is grab a handful of ingredients from your spice cupboard, including smoked paprika, some oregano, chili powder, cumin and coriander, chuck it all together and within half an hour you're going to have yourself a plate of banging fajitas now this is a really good dish for meal prep and lots of you have asked me for meal prep food ideas so this is one of my favorites that i like to do because it just keeps so well in the fridge for a couple of days so what I tend to do is prepare all of my veggies, so my peppers, my onions, um, I'll chop my paneer up, make my seasoning, marinate it, and then stick it on a oven tray, like a flat oven tray, cover it with some cling film, and you can leave that in the fridge for like three days and it'll be completely fine. Um, and then once you're ready to cook, all you need to do is take your cling film away, Put it in a preheated oven and you will have like paneer fajitas in no time whatsoever so you can do this like on a sunday and then have them on the wednesday and it will be completely fine tap the link in the description box for a full list of ingredients and measurements you need to make this recipe grab the biggest oven tray you have and add peppers i've just cut these into strips some finely sliced onions Paneer cut into strips. You can use shop bought or homemade, just make sure that it's super firm. Olive oil. Lime juice for punchy sourness. Some crushed garlic. Dried oregano. And I prefer the flavor of dried oregano as opposed to fresh in this recipe. Ground cumin and coriander seeds. Chili powder, as much or as little as you can handle. Smoked paprika. The smoked paprika will transform your fajitas, giving them a deeply smoky quality. Light brown sugar. This is not to make them taste sweet, it's to balance out all of the flavours. And salt. Toss everything well using clean hands or two spatulas and make sure that all the paneer and veggies are well coated. If paneer isn't your thing, you can always try making these with halloumi, beans, cauliflower or broccoli, tofu, chickpeas, mushrooms, courgettes, squash or pumpkin, fried potatoes, or even some aubergine. Be imaginative and create a meal that suits you. Bake in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around 25 minutes. For char and an added smoky flavor, place this under the grill for around four or five minutes. Garnish with fresh coriander. Now for the fun part. Serve it immediately with tortillas and all your favourite fajita sides. I simply must have mine with guacamole, salsa, sour cream and jalapenos. Guess what? I upload new and delicious vegetarian and vegan recipes every week. Subscribe to my channel and tap that bell icon to make sure you see them fresh from my kitchen to yours.